Hello, good afternoon. I'm back, Lutra FM, for another episode of the um, Dynamo Tillabissi. Um, I will get the I will get the wording right eventually. And uh, Georgian national team. Now, where you left off last, it was the first episode of the series. So I basically did a little overview of Dynamo and also the Georgian national team. Um, I give you a little bit of background why I picked Georgia King Platzi. We, we spoke about him. And then we just cracked on with the season and I played a, quite a few games and then we had our first game as the Georgia national team manager and um, we drew 1-1 with Romania, which was which sounds good, but we were winning 1-0 up until the last couple of minutes. So we were a, a bit annoying really because we should have beat them. So yeah, so but we take the positives here. We didn't lose and um, now we concentrate a bit more on Dynamo in this episode. And we try and get up the league as high as possible, and we just see how we get on. Try and get used to me. Try and get me used to the players, um, and just see how we get on, really. So yeah, so I'll be back in a sec with the first game of the episode. Right, we're back. Um, yeah, so basically we've played three games so far: one, two, lost one. We got six points on the table. Um, so we've got there, like I said, we haven't played much uh, in this in the oh, wrong button. Uh, where is it? No, schedule. There we go. So, yeah, as you can see, we won the Georgian Super Cup and then we beat Shakura, lost 2 1 to Dilla, and then won 3 0 against uh, Dagra. Um, I don't think we've got any European, we should have European football. I swear we've got European football. Yeah, yeah, Champions League. So, um, we enter the first qualifying round on the 11th of the 7th. That's a while away because obviously the Georgian league starts earlier than other European leagues. Um, so I don't know if that'll be a good thing for us or a bad thing. So yeah, but we'll see. But anyway, we've got our first game of the episode. We are playing Dynamo um, Batumi. So let's see how we get on there. By the way, um, I did say in the first episode I was considering being um, having the manager is Timor Ketsabaya, who's actually the real life manager of the Cyprus national team at the moment, and he's done relatively well in his career so far as a manager. And he also actually played for uh, Dynamo Tilavisi as well. So I didn't know that at the time. I just decided on what, what I basically did was have a look at Georgie Kinklatsi, have a look at who he played for in the Georgia, in Georgia before he went off and had the career that he had, and then just decided to manage them. I had no idea that Dynamo Tilavisi was probably the best team in Georgia at the time when I did it. I also found out that Cavadonna um, actually started his career at Dynamo Tilavisi as well. So it, it just seems to fit nicely, really, with the uh, storyline that we're doing here. So it's really nice. Um, plus that. Their home shirt's really nice. I want to try and see if I can get it, even if I get a fake version of it. That was a great ball to Mara. Ooh. This seems a little bit slower than usual. Let's just speed it up a bit. There we go. That's a little bit better. Gio with the ball now. Gives it to Sissoko. Um, I'm getting confused here. Am I wearing? Oh no, we're in the white. <laughs> I thought we were the team in the blue because our normal, our normal shirt is blue. We're in the white. I do apologise. I wondered why who these players were. I thought as the manager. I thought this assistant manager should pick all these different players. Anyway, right now we know who we are. <laughs> oh, nearly. That was uh, quite embarrassing. But I tend to embarrass myself quite a bit on uh, on YouTube. <laughs> You want, if you want to see embarrassing, have a look at my um, my fake hit review, because you'll just see me take the piss out of myself for about half an hour, constantly putting myself down because of the shirts being so tight on me. Oh uh, yeah, but we'll see. Um, I bought I, I bought um I had a replacement mystery shirt today, and I end up getting a shirt from Argentina that's very bright. Unfortunately, yes, get in. There you go, Jaduli again, main man Jaduli. Um, yeah, it's a. I got a Boca Un, Unindos, Unindos. I think that's how you pronounce it. Shirt, and it's really cool. It's like a red and 
my mouse pad is ridiculous today. Um, let me concentrate on this first. There we go. Yeah, it's like a red and yellow. Actually, I'll show you on the camera. I've already done a video anyway, so the video will probably be up before this one. But yeah, look. I went the wrong way. There we go. Ah, it's really cool, isn't it? Um, let me just hold it properly. So you can see. But yeah, look. Really cool shirt. The only downside is is that it's it's a free Excel, but it's really tight on me. So obviously, it, like it, I expect these from the fake shirts because the fake shirt the sizing is just ridiculous. Um, a four XL ends up being an XL or a two XL in real life. But yeah, I wasn't I was a bit annoyed. But I've already returned the one shirt they gave me because I'd already had it. I don't really want to return another one, even though it's a really cool shirt. Uh, I assume they just don't have it in my size, so they thought sod it, we'll just send him a free XL, which obviously doesn't fit me. Or maybe I actually in my in their defence, I might have actually ordered the free XL because of the fact is they probably didn't have any four XLs uh, when I ordered it, and I thought sod it, I'll be alright with a free XL. It's just a bit tight on my belly. I need, I just need, I wish I could just lose weight, but it's not as easy as people think. Um, and I'm, and I, I, I don't know if I don't know if it's the start of an eating disorder, but I do fixate by put on a pound. Um, I just fixate on it. and I get really annoyed at myself, but then I don't help myself. My diet so bad. So basically, yesterday I kind of just slacked a bit and I ate too much rubbish, and I know, t and then I went away on myself today. I I obviously paid for it, so I just need to get back on track really. So I think starting next week. I'm going to try not to eat anything too sugary, try and stick to chicken and rice most days. Obviously, I'll get a bit fed up with it after a while. And then just try and drink more water and then just keep up with my exercise. Because my exercise is pretty good. I go to the gym. Uh, a normal person would do three or four machines. Like, you know, the weight machines, they probably do like three or four sessions and concentrate on one particular body part. Not me. I'll do, I'll do two sets of 12 on about 10 different machines. And I do that three times a week like a bloody madman. Um, it's mostly my arms that I'm doing, but I, they, the new gym I go to doesn't really have many uh, machines for stomach and stuff. So I'm going to have to start trying to do sit-ups every day and stuff like that, really try and get the stomach a bit flatter. Because I want to try and fit into these 2XL shirts, especially these retro ones. Get in, go on. Um, the retro fake shirts, that are, there's so many I want, but they're all in 2XL. So it's great for my finances because it means I'm not spending much money on these shirts. But yeah, I want to try and get as many as possible really. So what I'm going to do is concentrate on losing weight and then hopefully, eventually I'll get down to enough. Well, I think I'll lose like 50 pounds to get from a 4XL to a 2XL from what I looked on Google. Um, and there's no, there's no cheap, there's, you can't, there's no quick ways of doing it either. There's no like cheap ways of doing it because if you do it like cheating wise, if you try and do some crash diet it won't work because you'll soon put it back on as soon you'll just that's the thing with diets really you can't really stick with them for long term they're great if you want to lose a couple of pounds for a short period of time and stuff but you have to be consistent long term that's what i'm trying to do and it's working i've gone from a 25 stone to a 22 stone so not too bad but i need to lose more i want to get down ideally to about 16 stone if i can help it but that's a that's a big task in itself. I stupidly, when I turned 40 last week, I stupidly told my girlfriend I want to try and lose six stone in the next 12 months. That ain't going to happen. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I, maybe if I lose two stone, that's still a victory, I'd say. And then just try and aim for two stone every year for the next couple of years. By the time I'm 45, hopefully I'm down to 16 stone. Because I've got to think about my health as much as I want to be a Twixel shirt wise i've got to think more about my long-term health as well um but yeah so anyway i'll uh i'll be back in a sec for the next game right so we're now playing um sam tredia sam tredia um let's see how we get on i think we won the last game i wasn't really i was i was going off on one talking about everything other than the actual game which i usually do um, a bit like Lelujo, really. I don't really talk much about the actual game. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, so I think we won the last game. Hopefully we can continue that in this game as well. We are in the we are actually I can confirm we are actually in the blue this time. I won't make mistake. I won't make that mistake again, hopefully. Oh, we're giving them a penalty somehow. Uh, apparently one of our players pushed theirs. There's no VAR in the Georgian League, so it might be a good thing or a bad thing, we just don't know. Even nearly got it then. Right, they're winning 1-0. Omran Hey Dairy. Hey Dairy. Hey Dairy. I don't know. Yeah, if you like people, if you like idiots like me who can't get names properly, then this is the video for you. You'll hear me butcher people's names all the time. Good ball. Go on. Oh, what a goal by Jadouli. We are not going to keep him for long. He's going to go to a big European team sooner rather than later. He definitely should be in the Georgian national team, though, as well. I'm hoping my, uh, that the AI will just automatically select him after a while anyway, so I don't have to keep trying to put him in there. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. Let's try... Oh, no, come on. My mouse pad isn't... My touch pad, I've managed to get it working a little bit... Um, a bit better, so it, but it's still a bit... It's not, it's not how I would like it, if I'm honest with you. It's just getting it right, though. I'll make sure all this... I've got to keep this clean as well. Last, my last laptop, I was very slack in keeping it clean, and it looked like an absolute mess by the end of it, so I'm going to try a little bit harder. So this one cost me a fair bit of money. Nearly two grand. They're going to score it. Oh, that was lucky. Right, looks like it's, yep, 1-1 one, one at half time. Um, I've tried to find a Dynamo Tilibisi shirt, um, unsuccessful so far. Hopefully, find one that's uh, maybe a fake one from somewhere. I don't know if I can get one cheap. I'm also going to try and get the Georgian national team shirt, but again, it's whether they've got it in my size. Um, so we'll see. Ideally, I want to try and get a, a legit, Dynamo shirt, so the money goes to the club because it's not like it's a rich, a massively rich club. But I've seen, I've seen two shirts on eBay, and they're just like ridiculously expensive. Just because it's because it's such a rare shirt, because it's from so far away. You never know; I might get one in a mystery shirt box one day. Okay, two one to them. Come on, lads. Can't, it can't all be on Jadouli. The rest of you have got to do your bit as well. Who's playing poorly? Centre-backs, but the, changing the centre-back isn't really going to improve your chances of scoring. Uh... Right, hopefully this is where we get an equaliser. We're starting from the back though. You seem a bit too cautious for us at the moment. We, we're losing 2-1. I don't need you taking your sweet time. I want you getting the ball up here as quick as possible. Afunji, our best penalty taker, a centre-back. Roman, Roman Romanovsky. Beautiful ball. Go on, Jadouli. Get in, the main man. Offside. Balls. <sighs> I really wish the Georgian League had the AR now. We keep getting goals. A lot of, we make a lot of important goals this so It's very frustrating. Right, and I'll see you in a sec. Right, so we're now playing a team called Subertalo. Uh, Subertalo. No idea again if they're any good. We'll soon find out. Um, considering he's playing in a role that's not too familiar for him, he is more of a poacher, advanced forward, uh, pressing forward. Playing quite well as a target forward in this role, uh, Jadouli. Very, very good player in the making. And like I said, I don't think we'll have him for long. Um, he is our best player so far. He is only here till when. Um, we're going to change that. 
I'd sign him up for four years at least. Uh, let's see what we got. There we go. We've got him here for four years, everyone. Excellent news. Right, let's see how we get on. By the way, just to update you, I might have found somebody um, to, for me to get a 4XL Socho home shirt that I've been trying to find for ages now. It's not a real one, it's going to be a fake one, but like it is what it is at the end of the day. If I'm getting priced out of the, the real shirt. Um, saying that though, the, the, I'll, probably get the, I'll probably get the legit home shirt for next season when they decide to release them. Uh, I just hope they've got it in my size. Like I said, that's the problem I continuously have. Oh, nearly. Oh, no. Scrap that. The person just got back to me. I just checked my phone. Um, I'll just read it. He's probably going to have a look what he says. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he doesn't have it. Damn it. So close. I'll just buy the legit home shirt for next season when it comes out. It'll cost me about 50, 60 quid, but at least the money's going to Socho, um, which is which is good. And also, it'll make it look current as well. So if I get last season, there's no point really. These two are playing poorly. They need to come off straight away, but have I got anybody really? Not particularly, not wingers anyway. I'll have to play not in their known position. At least we're not losing. Good save, goalie. Right. I think we're equals, really, at the moment. Uh, he's not playing well, either. It's got nil nil written all over it. Good. I think that was a save, maybe. No. Right, let's try and encourage my players, see if that'll do anything. Let's go a bit more positive as well. Still nothing. Try attacking. We did have a corner highlight there, but we accidentally got rid of it somehow. I noticed when you do like a team instruction, as you're getting a highlight, it cancels the highlight. I don't know if that cancels the goal. That was going to be... Oh, that was a poor error there by their defenders, and we should have done better. Come on, Jadouli. That was your opportunity to win the game then. Ah, right. Cadet here with the corner. Let's see what he can do. Taking his sweet time here. Hope this comes good for us. No, it doesn't. I end the job. Gives it back to Cadetti. Cadetti, sorry. Offside. Right. This is going to be a nil nil, isn't it? Yeah. Bit of a rubbish game. Not worth really showing you in in hindsight, probably. Uh, we've got a cup game next, so we can probably do with. Um, actually, we won't because we're playing like a sort of a local rival, so we better not rest. I'll rotate, but I won't play my youth players in this one. But yeah, I'll be back in a sec with this game, with the next game. Right, so we've got the cup game now. Um, I've done a full rotation, so we're going to have a, a few players that haven't played yet. Um, more, or haven't played much, like Gordy. Um, there's, there's quite a few regulars, though, in here, though, because probably, we've probably only got a small squad, so when we do full rotation, I, I'm assuming we don't have the players to do a full rotation. Um, Shukarov is going to be playing. He hasn't played yet, even though he's playing in a. Actually, if we just put him over. Oh. God, this is so annoying. Right. Like that. There you go. So then that's a bit better. That's a bit more familiar for him. Right, and let's see how we get on in this game. Hopefully, we win because it'll be really embarrassing if we lose to a, this team. I think the fans will not be happy. Not all the board. Anyway, first highlight to us Cadet with the free kick. Straight past the Petula. Oh, look at that. Petulia. Ditto. Petulia. What a lovely name for a football player. 1 0. 
I feel I feel like this is going to be a very one-sided game. There's going to be a lot of goals for us in this game, I think. I hope so for you, like, make it a bit more interesting. Uh, but we seem to be all over them. Simon with the ball. I think everybody wants to have a touch of the ball here. You can see us getting quite a few different goal scorers as well in this game. Beautiful ball. Petulia, what a pass. Gordy with the goal. Is it going to be allowed? Yeah, good. Gordy with his first goal of the season. Lovely little poacher's goal. Goal kick. Booted quite high. Simon to Shukarov. Shukarov inside. Oh, nearly. Great little uh, rebound there by for Gordy. Second goal of the season, second goal in the game. He's on target for a hat trick already. 3 0. Two different goal scorers so far. Uh, just going to give my thoughts on the England national team after watching the 1 1 draw in Denmark. Um, a bit boring. I, I nearly fell asleep. It was just not entertaining at all. I don't. I don't, as much as Southgate gets a lot of grace for how well he's managed to, like how far he's managed to get the England team, like we got to the World Cup final, or uh, was it the World Cup? It might have been Euros. The one that we lost, I uh, know oh it was Euros, uh, Euros final against Italy, and obviously before that we got to like World Cup semi final, Euro semi final. So he, he has done really well compared to other England uh, managers, but. The type of football he plays with the players that we've got, it's, I feel like we're wasting a generation of great players here. We've got Foden, Bellingham, Maynou. We've got such great young English players, Rice. Um, who else? You would, yeah, anyway. But we just, like I said, I feel like we're wasting them at the moment. We need, we, not that we're going to get them, we need like a Barker or Guardiola to come in and just completely just make the most of the players that we've got. And play better football, play more exciting football. He doesn't play very good football. The players just don't want they just don't seem that bothered. Either it's either they don't seem that bothered or it's coming across they don't seem that bothered. Um and if that's not the case, they need to be telling some straight. I know he's the gaffer, but they need to be going, come on boss, let's play a bit more exciting football. Right, we've made some substitutions because of injuries. Uh, unfortunately, Gordy won't be getting his hat trick in this game, but he's done really well. Another free kick, floats it up, headed out though. Oh, oh bloody hell, he had, he had difficulty with that one, didn't he? Get in. No dart long inside with his first goal of the season. Nice to see some different goal scorers. Are we going to get another one? Not that I'm being greedy. Right, 4-0. Nice. Expected win. Uh, who are we playing next? We've got another... Is there, how many teams are there in Tbilisi? Right, let's type in... Type in Tbilisi. Right, okay, that's 50 clubs. That is ridiculous. <laughs> 50 clubs for Tbilisi, so I don't think they're all our rivals. Let's have a look. Let's see who our yeah. So we've got Torpedo, Locomotive, um, and I think, and then obviously Dynamo, Wit Georgia, so so our oh, Subatalo. So they were a local rivals. Uh, anyway, I'll be back in a second with the next game. Right, next team we're playing now is a team called Tel Aviv. Um, we've got our team back to Norman on after the cup game. So hopefully we will see if we can get another win in the league. Um, let's have a look where we are. Oh, we can't. Hold on. Wait for this highlight to finish first. Always the way. Fedete, Iden Jock. Ooh, Pachula. Pachulia. Pachulia is a good player as well. So I think the two players that stand out to me so far um, is Ioba Ashvili. Ioba 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 Ashvili. There you go. It's just I have to break it up and then put it together. It's just I think maybe like a former dyslexia. Oh, one nil down. No 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 no. Um, 
Right, it's probably berating the players. Fire them all. So, yeah, so you've got Io Bash Billy, and then you've got Petulia. Uh, Ion Jock is probably a pretty good little centre midfielder as well. So, there's players here, Cadete as well, he's pretty good. There's players I'm getting used to now and, and, and liking, uh, forming an attachment with, so to speak. So, that's good. Because it's hard, if you can't get into the save, if you can't get, um, if you don't like any of the players in the team, for God's sake. Disallow good, um, then you're just going to get bored of the save quickly. What I really loved about the Rafe Rover save is I didn't really get attached to many of the players that were already in the team other than Lewis um, Vaughan. Um, but I, I brought players in that I liked and become attached to, like Deli Ali, Emil Hoyland, um, and they become like really good players for me, and I got behind them. And it got, and that's the reason why I did so many seasons with them on that particular save because the players were there to keep me interested. That's the problem with football manager. I think you just, I think people get burnt out because this. I do so many saves every every year on FM, and I get bored after a couple of years. So I have to try and make it as enjoyable as possible for me. And and to do that, I try and do obscure teams, obscure leagues, harder. Um, or I put I do like you phone me or I just try and do it like that really. All right, two 0 down before half time is not ideal. Try a pack in. I was about to make two substitutions already. It's not even half time. Try firing up the player. See if that'll do anything. Like I said, if you look at the stats, we are best. We are doing better than them. We're just not able to put our uh, chances away. We haven't had a shot in the second half yet, which is quite concerning. Who is playing poorly? Simon and Kumar. Well, you can't you can't take you off the phone you've got on the pitch. Uh, put you here. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to change the players back in. I forgot to back the winger back. Goldie's playing for ball and we're gonna take him off and get away with it. A bit controversial to take a goalkeeper off with twenty minutes to go, but yeah, not done well. I think we'll be having a word with him after this game. Criticise his form. It'll be a rare loss for us. We only have two shots in this whole second half. Will we get a consolation goal here? Shame it wasn't a little bit earlier. No, we don't even get the consolation goal. All right, let's just get this game done. Move on to the next one. Can't win them all. Right, let's have a look. So we're now fifth. Um, three points away from here. Sam rally is the, the top at the moment are we are we favorites to win no we're not so it's not the end of the world if we don't win but we were champions last season so we should be doing better There's still plenty of the season to go though right and um we're playing top next so hopefully we can beat these we'll get up here and then we'll also hinder them getting higher up uh, getting a bigger lead on the on the table in the league table you know anyway right you know the score i'll be back the next game in a second right so here we are um, we're playing top of the league in the last game of the episode so hopefully we can uh, get this sorted and we can win this game and then next episode we can look at trying to close the gap on them uh, i need a quick instant result there sorry right oh i forgot to change it back to the oh, i forgot i meant to put the attacking midfielder as a right winger I need to remember to do that for the next game. Right, first highlight is looking like it's going to us. Beautiful ball. Oh, I'm ditto. Oh, what a start. Gordy. Good, good start. One, a goal already in the first minute. Probably one of the quickest goals in the league. We'll have a look at um, our inbox items afterwards. That will soon tell us. Uh, we're not playing Jujuli today. 
he is on the subs bench. I don't know why the assistant manager is not playing him, but it doesn't matter because Gordy's come in and scored straight away. So that was a good decision by our assistant manager. I always let, mostly let the assistant manager pick the team because I've never had any issues with them doing it before. They usually pick the best team for that game. I have no complaints on that one. Good header out there. They've still got the ball though. Oh, played it a bit too far. Good tackle there, Iron Jock. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. He's another player uh, we need to keep an eye on. Iron Jock. I need to have a look at the players that I've got in the squad to make sure their contracts don't expire quickly. Get in. Joshua Akamunji. 2 0 to us. See how we get on. We're six though, which is a bit annoying. I swear we were higher than that before this game started, so I don't know how that's worked. Oof. Woody nearly with a great goal. Corner to the opposition, headed out nicely. Let's see what we can do on the counter attack here. Petulia. Looks like he wants to take everybody on, on at the same time. T-Sense gives it back to our left back. Iron Jock gives it to Shukarov. Cross to Dog. Um, Dog Nanosi or whatever his name is. What's his name? Uh, Dog Nancy. There you go. Right, corner. Let's see if we can extend our lead for half time. We don't, but we've still got the ball. Julia with the ball. Akinpuji, least than nothing. Right. I'm not going to complain too much about that. It was a good first half performance. Let's hope we can keep this lead or extend it. players knackered so I don't think we can take them all off. We are left oh there we go. We can get in there. That's alright, that worked out nicely in the end. I thought I didn't think we'd have a uh, another player in knackered. Uh sorry, the fly hovering around in my uh, girlfriend's kitchen and as much as I've tried to swap it away, it's still alive annoyingly. mouse i want it to go right and it won't it won't move oh, for god's sake i'm sorry about this everyone all right oh there we go frustrations with a new laptop Right, I think that's all our subs used now. We've just got to grind out this win. Um, they have their first shot on target now. So, right, this probably is going to be the last highlight of the game. Hopefully it's for us. Simon, who's it? Shukarov. Shukarov gets fouled. That's going to be a red card. Off he goes. Second yellow card of the, of the game for him. And that's that. Good stuff. Nice way to end the episode. So we're somehow six. I don't know how that worked. We were literally, I think we were fifth before this game kicked off. We're somehow six. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, so we're 13 points after eight games played. We are, if we just get like a couple of wins in the, in the row here, we can get up there. So I feel like even though we've won, we haven't progressed. I think the other teams maybe have won as well. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to leave you to it. I'm not going to extend my face because I tried that last time. It didn't work out because the mouse is so rubbish at the moment. But yeah, I'll leave you to it. Thank you as always. If you haven't, um, if you don't mind, like the video, subscribe to my channel if you like the content. Uh, leave a comment. I like. I prefer comments. Let me know whether you like the, like the save. Let me know what you don't like about it. 
if there's anything you want me to uh, change when it comes to recording the videos it all helps it makes me a better youtuber so yeah but anyway i'll be back with another episode at some point on the weekend speak to you soon bye